Cincinnati considers new rules to make ride sharing services such as Uber and Lyft safer for riders. The proposal comes in the wake of tragedy. Local 12's David Winter shows us what the proposed ordinance would do. I said I'm a driver, not a hooker. <laughs> Karen Angel has to set boundaries and protect herself when driving for Lyft, her second job. She also carries self-defense spray. But Cincinnati's proposed ordinance is really designed to protect the rider. It's in response to the murder earlier this year of a University of South Carolina student, Samantha Josephson, who apparently got into a vehicle she thought was her Uber ride. It turned out to be someone else who police say killed the student. So Vice Mayor Smitherman authored the ordinance, modeling it after South Carolina's Samantha Josephson Ride Sharing Safety Act, stating Cincinnati should take a proactive measure to ensure the safety of both riders and operators of ride hailing services. It would require operators to display illuminated signs showing the name of their companies on the dashboards of their vehicles. It would also require the operator to show company signs on the sides of their vehicles. If it's just one of like the things on the dashboard, I suppose I would be okay. I mean, I wouldn't want like a big pizza delivery thing <laughs> on the top of my car. Currently on both the Lyft and Uber apps, it shows the name of the operator coming to pick you up, the type of car and the license plate. Lyft also sends a reminder to riders to check for these things before getting in the car. Lyft provides operators with window emblems and it offers an illuminated sign as well, but in order to get it, the operator must reach gold status, giving 175 rides within three months. We contacted Uber for comment. No one got back to us. Lyft told us off camera that the city cannot impose the ordinance because it operates in Ohio under statewide law, which has statewide preemption. Karen says as a Lyft rider, she likes the signage idea, but as a driver, she wants to make sure it will not cost her more money, which would defeat the purpose of what she's doing. If I'm a little tight on funds before payday, I can go out and drive for two or three hours and make enough money to go to the grocery store and last for the week. Well, the Cincinnati City Solicitor did not get back to me whether the city could, in fact, impose this ordinance. The Ohio state law does say that it is the intent of the General Assembly to preempt any local ordinance adopted to regulate transportation network companies. Vice Mayor Smitherman, who introduced the ordinance to begin with to the Law and uh, Public Safety Committee, well, he declined to comment about this today. We'll follow the ordinance and see whether it goes before council. Cammy. All right, David, thank you. And Lyft reminds you to always check that the car and driver on the app match the person who arrives to pick you up.